Paul's Asian channel. Today we are taking the big bike and we're not going that far, only 30 minutes drive, but it's been a while and the big bike is just standing there and it needs to be driven. So we're going for a small hike. Hopefully the weather will hold up. It's been uh, not so nice these last few days. There's a big bike waiting for me. And uh, so we are about to leave and we're gonna go for a little hike and film. Mia has been there before. She says it's really, really nice there. So like I said, hopefully the weather holds up and we'll film a bit while we're driving and then a bit while we're hiking. Hope you enjoy the video. And if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. And even if you don't like it, comment anyway. So that really helps our channel grow. Thank you. Got a rain delay and it's raining. 
and we're trying to find this place. Mia's a bit uncertain where it is. I think we've passed it. Because Mia said something about a shooting range and we're driving this way right now. And I think the shooting range is that way. Because I've been to a shooting range and that's several kilometers that way. So Mia's looking at the GPS now and and oh hopefully God, and hopefully she'll remember. If not, uh, we'll probably head on home. Uh, really wet. So rain delay again, but it's just water. The only thing I really don't like driving when it's raining because it gets, it can get slippery over here. So, but it's been raining a lot lately, so most of the oil and all that's washed out of the road, so it should be okay. Um, look how crazy they drive here, even when it's raining. So, yeah. I can't see the thing, baby.
underneath it. You can stop filming now. So we made it to the top and not uh, yet. well not yet but I mean to the top of the concrete road that's where the concrete road ends right and yeah. there's a trail so we're gonna go hike the trail hopefully it doesn't rain anymore even though the clouds are not that looking good and this is a typical Filipino basketball court too <laughs> so that's pretty cool but no one's gonna play basketball now so here we go on the uh, On the road we go, fresh water. Oh, someone just got shot. Yeah, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Is that human or? <laughs> <Not human. laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it's kind of hard to see how steep this is. My pulse is going like crazy. And it's more steepness up there. Mia told me her friends gave up about here last time they were up here. So we're gonna keep going. I got my walking stick. I got the backpack and there we got some water. We got some food. So we said we're gonna walk for about an hour because that would put us at about what time? Yeah. It's not 56 so, so I call it two. So I put us at three, four by the time we get back. So that's put us home about five. So it'd be just about when it's getting dark. So that's a good time to get home before it gets dark. And it's raining. Not right now, but it was raining earlier. So <sighs> yeah, it's not that I'm in bad shape or nothing. It's just that it's pretty steep here. Plus I'm carrying a backpack, so. But it's beautiful up here. I mean, really. Sun is shining again, I'm just about dry. It's perfect. All the, all the gods did for us was put water down on us so we'd be nice and cool while we walked up. Time we got to the top, we're nice and dry. Oh. Thank you to the gods. Which god is it? <laughs> What's the Viking god again? Tour, tour the, with the hammer. Oh. Uh, and what's the one that's always lying and tricking people? Uh. Oh, I forgot his name. Valhalla is the heaven, remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh how can I forget his name? Huh? Oh, well. Love the tree. Look. Oh my god, look at that tree. That's so beautiful. So what do you say about it, babe? About yeah. about this hike? Well, at first I failed because it's such a shame. You failed why? Because I thought we were right. we did not pass. That. Oh, because we went way past. That's okay. That's hap shit happens, man. You know, you're but not good still. at directions because you're not used to driving. So for you, it's like five minutes because you're not concentrating. But when you drive, you you. You kind of make a mental note of places when you take off somewhere and all that. So, even as a passenger in a car, I never remember where we are, how to get back, or nothing. If you drive, you remember, but if not, you won't. 
So is that the coffee shop up there? That bamboo? No, that's not. You still need to walk up. Walk up even more? Yeah. Look at the way they've done it with so many nice flowers. They're building a concrete house there. And behind they have another concrete house. And this is a small bamboo house here. Oh, actually it's a sorry, sorry store, babe. It is? Yeah. Oh yeah, before. Look at the flower, it's so nice. Because we bought... We, me and my friends bought uh, Come uh, closer. water there. Because, bought water there? Yeah, because we're so thirsty first ah. time. And we're like, you know, we're about to give up. But the woman told us that it's a bit more there. Just, Just five, know. ten minutes like that. Ten, Look, fifteen, there used to be a, a nice house here. Looks abandoned, huh, babe? Yeah, oh my gosh. Look at that view. Yeah. Turn around. Oh my god, it's even nicer here. It's amazing. Yeah. How much more if you reach the top? This is also a very Filipino saying. How much more? Are you, really? <laughs> yeah. What would you do the... I don't know, I'm so used to saying the Filipino way. <laughs> so how would you say it? In, in... It's so much nicer up there. Wait till you get to the top and then you'll see. How ah, much more? Wait till you get to the top. Because how much more? It's like you're asking me a question. How much more? I have no idea. I haven't been up there before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> New lesson learned. Yeah, but that's a Filipino thing. Yeah, I'm getting used to that. It's not a. It's not really a bad thing. I mean, I think if you said that and you're on a call, I don't think people would react too much to it. You know, it's like a cute Filipino saying for me anyway comment below joke <laughs> <laughs> want me oh. to tie your shoelace? look they got roosters here that's a good place to have roosters away from most people problem isn't like in Dumaguete when you have a house with 30 freaking roosters I don't know how those people sleep <laughs> they get in the yeah, roosters I can see getting used to, but dogs, barking dogs, I can't get used to that. Because they're not constant. Yeah, so yeah it's kind of like traffic. You know, growing up in Egypt, I lived in Giza first. And this outside was a main road. I was always, doot, 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 like that always. Yeah. I remember when in Bacola, we had the, kind of the same thing. Oh, yeah. And you were so surprised that I slept so easily. Yeah. You thought I'd be awake all night because of You're the sound. Annoying. Yeah, it's just what you're... That's what your brain is used to, you know? Because I was thinking, you know, how could they sleep? And when at home the little sound wakes yeah. me up, yeah? Yeah. So... <laughs> later that day we woke up late. Also, we bought an alarm and we use it for the first time today. So we set the alarm on before we left. It's a cheap one though. That's only about 10 bucks or something, you know? One of those sensor alarms, if somebody walks in and starts screaming at like 110, 120 decibels. And you know when my neighbors said come running pretty quick, so so it's a good investment, you know. Right babe? Yeah. I told Mia, please remind me when we get home not to go in. <laughs> you know? Because we go in, we go. We we'll forget all about it. We'll probably get really scared. So you gotta go in. Yeah, but you got the remote to switch it off from outside. Well, you got the wrong remote. <laughs> no, I tested it already. <sighs> My heart can't take it. Your heart can't take it. Yeah. It's so fast. I could hear it. Up there is the coffee there. shop. There's a horse. Yeah, 150 pesos. Three dollars to ride a horse. <laughs> and then 20 pesos to take a picture on a horse, which is not even half a dollar. But for here, three dollars to ride a horse. That's too uh, much. 
Yeah, because that's like a meal for a good, you know, a whole chicken, a rotisserie costs 200 peso. So, yeah. I don't know how long the ride is. If the ride is 30 minutes an hour, I guess it's okay. But it's a two minute ride, you know. Try to be coming here on vacation and working. You know, for most people, three dollars is not a lot, but I think for Filipinos, 150 pesos is a bit too much to ask, huh, babe? Yeah. Is it? The other one. You don't have money, yeah. But for me, it's yes. I should buy that for. Like... Now, how much would a horse cost? 200 pesos. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Baby. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? You gotta go here and decide. I know. Wait. You need to buy. I need to buy hiking shoes, not rubber shoes. They're it's too slippery. Want me to hold you? No, you take the camera. So we made it to the entrance. I really never thought I could. But we did, thanks to Mia helping out on the sack. From the concrete road to the entrance, it's uh, 2.36 kilometers, probably another 0.1. So probably 2.4, 2.45. Because I didn't turn it on until I'd gone a few meters. So this is the entrance. I think the coffee shop. Oh, here's, here's not so steep, babe. Do not enter without permission. Doesn't. Where do you get permission? Oh, it's closed until further notice. Oh, okay. Interesting. Closed for camping, I'm assuming. Not for walking. You want me to take that backpack now? Yes, please. Oh, I feel like dying. Yeah. But I don't want to die. Don't die, Mia. You're irreplaceable, remember? Wait. Gosh. So, this was a really nice trick. A bit slippery, as you saw, I almost fell. That was pretty close. I gotta be extra careful because of my left knee. So I got my braces on. But even with those, I'm always worried I'm gonna twist it or something. So, yeah, it's, it's beautiful up here and it's nice and cool. And right now it's a bit more flat, so we're not breathing like crazy. And we're really almost at the complete top here. So this is the complete top of the mountain. The nice thing is going down, as Mia tends to take the backpack on the way down because of my knee. It's kind of more strenuous going down than going up on my knee, actually. So, this is it. We're close to the top now. Look at that pine tree there, babe. You see that? It's a pine tree. It's like being back in Norway. <laughs> the nature here is just awesome. It's like, you gotta experience the fresh air, the sights, the sounds, minus the karaoke. But up here we don't hear the karaoke, so that's really nice. Maybe they switched it off, I don't know. Let's go out here and look. Wow. Look at that. You want to take a rest? We're almost at the top. You want to make it to the top and take a rest there? It's so beautiful everywhere. I don't know even which footage to use. What a view. What a view. And then you go up here through the gates of heaven. <laughs> oh, here's a coffee place. Some nice flowers. And up there is a deck. I guess you could sit up there, enjoy a cup of coffee or something. Must have pretty awesome views. I'll try to go up there. Let's see what they have here. Do they have? Do they have mango juice or something? Maybe? Okay. We almost made it without falling. I said I almost made it. Then, of course, we fell, or I fell. Want me to film me in the back? <laughs> in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's. I fell down there, but luckily I didn't land on a rock, and my knee is fine. So that's that's good. 
there's not a lot of battery left and not a lot of memory space left so it's gonna be short but yeah we got we just started on the way back that was the worst that's the road that's worst the worst one road. that's i almost slipped earlier didn't i yeah so that that's also the road and we we went on the other be side careful. because we thought we thought maybe it's drier on the other side but, but that was wrong we should have stuck to the side we know just like you should stick to the girl you know right yeah <laughs> <laughs> look at this look at that wow i think i filmed here already but looks like we made it <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we made it it's now four o'clock exactly. four o'clock exactly so we timed it perfectly so now we're just gonna head on back Hopefully traffic isn't bad. I'm exhausted. My feet are exhausted. I fell down. My back is exhausted. My back. My I'm just. Is I'm just ready to take a hot shower when I get home. Lay on a sofa and watch a movie. Kind of what I want to do. Well, I have to edit a video, but no, I can do that tomorrow. So yeah, that's the plan. So how was the trip, Mia? Um, scary. Because, scary. But exciting. Exciting. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. This was a fantastic day. We should have and left he, earlier, but he, he oh got well. a souvenir. <laughs> I got a souvenir. I fell down. My bike is still here. So now it's time to go home. And there's people camping. There's people just leaving, just starting the trail. Now actually gonna stay overnight camping. Okay. And they're gonna leave the motorbike here. Leave the motorbike here, yeah. Anyway. Home sweet home. See you.